Hey guys, I'm Stephen Keston. This is Rob Bernacki, and welcome to Smashing the Younger, Fitter, More Athletic Opponent, or the alternate title, BJJ for Old Fucks. You might be an old fuck like me, or you might be fucking old like Stephen. <laughs> but either way, this series is for you. We'll talk about safety, safety in executing a technique, safety in receiving a technique. We'll talk about what parts of the jiu-jitsu game will maximize your results, like Good. return on investment on something like hand fighting and distance management versus the return on investment on Barambolo if you're 45. We want to think about how can we select for techniques that are still high percentage at the high level, but don't require a ton of explosiveness, a ton of athleticism, a ton of flexibility, basically attributes that younger people tend to have. And how can we still develop a really robust game that works on younger people? The stuff that we're talking about isn't just jujitsu for old people. It can be jujitsu for young people. Young people could use this stuff just as much because we're not going to give you a, a compromised set of techniques. So the limitation is not on the effectiveness of the technique. It's that there are certain techniques, certain groups of techniques, certain types of games that you can focus on that will allow you to be incredibly effective while taking into account for limited training, limited recovery, etc. Cetera, et cetera.